Hello again, Doc on the Clock with more! Mario's Search for the Eight Jewels by Mao7! <laughs> We're going to the Hollow Valley! If it's hollow, that means there's a lot of space to it. If it's a valley, that means it's the valley. I mean, that probably makes sense. Ooh, a little bit of makeup there. Ooh, jeez. That's a very, um... Ooh. This is a tandem I was not ready for. I'm not ready for a lot of things here. That is a very monumental fire structure there. Not at all suggestive in any way. What are you talking about? Okay. So far, I have encountered um, precisely zero things affected by fireballs. Uh, so I really probably do not need to worry about having fire so much as just having the extra hits. There's a switch somewhere. Well, actually, I might be coming back through here. Yes, I am. I'm starting to get a sense for how this game operates. And by the last world. Oh, hey! One thing that's affected by fire. Now it's totally worth it. Ooh. They were dancing away from spewing flames. I thought for a moment this was going to be an auto-scroller. Nope, it's just very yellow. Also, um... I've already hit the midpoint. Okay, I'm glad I uh, was not too quick on the draw there. Uh, I need to uh, read the room. Oh, shoot, shoot. I did not read that room. <laughs> that was precisely the wrong read. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to try that again, this time with actually knowing what's going on there. I didn't, okay. I did not see the outlines. I don't really need the flowers anymore, but that one's just there, so. So yeah, I don't see outlines there. I thought it was a, uh, a book at section. Was there any reason for me to think otherwise? This is actually, honestly, the most scary bridge building I have ever encountered. Probably best off just going like this. And then only taking it one direction. Okay, only got one there. This is. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, this terrifies me. Oh no! I. <sighs> I just hit the jump button when I got hit, and so it didn't register as a jump. Okay, well, I, I don't have any hits, but I made it through this time. Okay, no point in going for that. Yes, it's a hit. Those are especially useful when I'm dealing with um, potobos, which may or may not appear at really inopportune times. Oh, jeez. Please tell me I don't get crushed. Uh, 
Uh, speaking of appearing at inopportune times, everything here. Oh, I took a chance I did not need to take there. It worked out in my favor, though. Bother not with the flowers. They are going to yield nothing. I don't even know if I'm safe here. Oh, jeez. Oh, I... Uh, I was... And when I'm trying to spin jump, I have to use a different finger, and it's just not as quick on the draw. Alright. I'm a little bit less afraid now, because I have the occasional hits. I don't want to take them that silly, though. Okay, that's safe. Okay, and this doesn't flow into the lava, so... Or at least all the way into the lava. Uh, took the hit. Might not matter, provided that there's not anything too dangerous here. Okay, there isn't. I was worried there for a moment. I was, felt like there was a lot of stuff going on before I got actually there. But there was nothing actually there except just a few coins. Okay, well, hey, you, you're fearing the worst. You have to be prepared. <laughs> but we're good. We can go to, the, go to the Shrine of the Dead. We can take those coins and make an offering. Why are we making an offering to the dead? They're dead. They don't really need it. Okay, Ooh. we've got doors. We've got doors and doors and doors. And uh, doors. And let me guess, up here we have doors. And we have a flower gate. So there's going to be one flower past each of these doors. Probably in difficult to acquire locations and uh, potentially very deadly ones. The uh, stairway shimmy here to uh, keep myself up and. I'm not gonna lie, I was halfway expecting a Phanto. <laughs> would, would probably have not been the worst Phanto experience ever because uh, there's not too many hazards around here. But uh, yeah, I have exactly the idea of what's going on here. These, on the other hand, are not pleasant to deal with in the slightest. Boo parties! Why is this not a power-up? I really wanted it to be a power-up. 
Oh, jeez. I very nearly ate it there. That's a power up. Ah, dang it. Well, that took a lot of my uh, health away, so I could be in trouble here. I'd like is for one of these doors to have a power-up I can easily grind for. My jump sound is weirdly off here. That is not what I would call a grindable power-up. <laughs> but it at least gives me something. Oh, they tried to fool me. <sighs> okay. Watching out, because there could be another ghost ambush. Alright, last door. We have a big boo fight. Probably a fairly standard one, I'm guessing. Yes. All right, well. Now we can go through here. Get the midpoint. And maybe there's one last flower to find. Well, there is, but there's no guarantee that I'll be able to make any use of it. What are you? Strange gnome creature that was about to throw magic at me. And now it's a requirement to use him. Whoa, jeez. want to bop you now. Oh, jeez. Wow. That was... Okay, well... Ha! I did it all on my own. I didn't need you after all. Nuts to you, wizard good. Get out of my life, get out of my hair. So that's that and the boo cloud the boo crowds were the one were the two big threats that I had to deal with. Needle thread failure. I had to try it though. Oh, hey, and there's the last flower. Someone put it outside to plant it in the garden. Unfortunately, they put it way up high in the air, so it never actually reached the ground and got the nutrients. It was really poor planning on their part. Anyway, that's. All for me for now. Until next time, this is Doc. I'll see you later.